Hello everyone and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about lists. Alright, so a list is, we have a list object right here. So instead of making an array, we're going to make our own list. And so this comes in the um, systems collection generic uh, class and, we'll, um, and then we can uh, use list right here. So list has um, a data type that is generic. So we can, we'll get actually get into generics in more of the advanced sections. However, um, for right now, just know that it can be any data type that we want. So we can say string, and then we can call this my contacts. And then we'll just say, just like how we would for any um, new object we're making, we can say new list string, and then call it a day. All right, so now we have an empty list. Let's go ahead and put some values in it. So my contacts.add, and that's how we can add items right here. Um, we can say uh, Mike, and then um, we'll actually go ahead and just copy this and make a couple of them. Mike, um, Rob, and Jim. All right, so now that we know how to use the for each loop, we'll go ahead and make a nice for each loop. And we can say contact in my contacts. All right, and we need to put the var here, of course. So now we have, now we can take a look at all of the contacts that we have in my contacts simply by saying console.writeline and adding the contact in here. So we can do this because contact is uh, a string. So it knows because now my contacts is a list of strings. So we can go ahead and run that and take a look and see what we have. All right, Mike, Rob, and Jim. So what if we want to remove an item from the list? We've seen how we can add items. We could also, we could um, add them wherever. Um, let's go ahead, just for clarification, we're going to um, just make a little line here in the console. So uh, when we run it, we can see kind of the different sections. So let's see, what if we want to remove um, a contact? So we can say my contacts, uh, remove. And then the beauty of this, right, is um, it removes the first occurrence of a specific object from the list. So this is cool because we can specifically say what item we want to without having to actually explicitly say the index. So we can just say Rob, all right? And then we can do this again, grab this for each loop, and we'll go ahead and run it. And let's take a look. After we have removed Rob from the list, there you go, Mike and Jim, all right? So now what about if we want to um, insert an item? So again, it makes it incredibly easy. So we'll actually just copy this little section right here and put it right here. So instead of um, remove, we can say insert and um, we can say um, Ben. All right, now you see we're getting an error because if you, if you notice, we have to specifically specify which index. So what we can do here is we can say um, one. We want index one and we can separate it by a comma. So we, because we wanna stick it right in the middle, um, this is the, um, the first index, this is the zero index. Excuse me, this is the, the, the zero index, this is uh, index one and then index two. So we're gonna specify by saying we wanna put it in um, index one. All right, so let's go ahead and run that now. 
we'll take a look at all of our little sections we have here. All right, Mike, Rob, Jim, and then we have removed Rob, and then we have inserted Ben. Okay, well, that is essentially how to insert, remove, and add objects in a list. So the beauty of lists is, let's just go ahead and remove all this. The beauty of lists is, um, or any collection really, is that we have, um, we can access um, a lot of different, um, a lot of different methods. Uh, we can do different sorts, um, and we can remove, uh, we can insert, we can get the last index, um, or index of. Um, there's a lot of different things here that we can do. All right. And then let's take a look at a, um, a, a um, excuse me, a string array. So we can get the length of the array, um, but we can't, if you notice, we can't do as much with an array because, um, let's take a look. This is coming from system, um, excuse me. Let's see if we can figure out where this is coming from. Huh. Well, this is coming from essentially system um, because um, since an array is essentially a primitive data type um, and list was made in this specific um, class, we're able to access it and it has a lot more functionality than just coming straight from system. So like if we take a look again, we can say list int um, my list. Um, we're not going to instantiate it because we just want to take a look at it at the properties one more time. That's, yep, never mind. We do. We have to instantiate it. All right. So we'll just say list int and there we go. So we can say list dot and we have all of this. So it's really interesting. Um, the amount of stuff that we can do See, we can even do things like find uh, last, um, find index, find last index. Um, there's a lot of definitely, uh, we could do binary search as well. Um, there's a lot of different things that we can do with, um, with these lists. So I look, I'm glad that you guys were able to stop by with this one. Um, join me in the next one, and we're going to keep talking about lists and uh, different things we can do with them. So I look forward to seeing you in that one.